Bursting first, fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing the gold trunks with green trim, and he weighed in at 118 and three quarter pounds from Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin. Undefeated as a professional, three and O, oh, two KOs. Introducing Dave Lethal Long, and his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks and weighing in at 115 and one quarter pounds. He's originally from Edmonton, Canada, but now fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, making his professional debut. He was a member of the Canadian Olympic team. Let's hear it for the little bulldog, Scotty Olson. You know, you're boxing under the Indiana State Athletic Commission rules, and I'm here to enforce those rules. Remember, there is no standing aid count, so if you don't defend yourself, you keep on, I have to stop the fight. Do you understand that? Shake hands now, come out fighting at the bell. Good luck to both. Succinct speech, and you look at Scotty Olson out of the Olympic Games. But Canada, as mentioned, and in the other corner, Dave Long out of Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin. I would expect Wisconsin Rapids to be in Wisconsin. <laughs> One would think so, yes. It's north of Milwaukee, west of Green Bay. Does that help, Jenny? Very good. <laughs> Olsen made it to the uh, quarterfinals in the Olympics for losing a decision to Michael Carbajal. And now he is trained by Richie Sandoval, former Bantamweight champion, working in Las Vegas in the uh, Las Vegas Gloves gym. Got a lot of pretty good young fighters in that gym. Yeah, Vince Phillips, among others. the games they called Scotty Olson Popeye gosh I wonder why yeah <laughs> he said he's a little nervous about his pro debut but uh, he's been looking forward to it and he said he's really it was delightful today when we talked to him saying that um, he said I just want to have fun as a pro that right hand was no fun from Dave Long both these young men very very amiable guys and really fun to talk to I think if you're going to be a super flyweight, you may as well be in it for fun because yeah. there's not going to be any big paydays. It's true. Michael Carbajal, uh, an exception perhaps, they're trying to make him the first million dollar fighter in that weight division, and he's got a fight upcoming against Tony DeLuca, who's a, that's going to be quite a challenge for him. Well, he sure is a guy that has improved. You could see his improvement with every fight since he turned pro. Yes. Also, wailing away as is long. This is a good action fight. Good body work by Olsen. I can't even speak here. Of a reversal is what I was going to say. Easy ah. for me, huh? Yes. In the, in the shoes here, the football players wearing high tops, and here's a fighter wearing low tops. Dave Long. Different kind of footwear. Long trying to use this ring, and as we've documented during the evening, isn't a very big ring to use. Reddening alongside the left eye of Long. For that matter, a little reddening on, alongside the right eye of Olsen. They're both taking some shots, and there's been some banging of heads in the inside also. So we come toward the end of the first round of the professional debut of Scotty Olsen, and we'll be back after this. In 1961, the uh, the dinner where they're going to be honoring Michael Buff for the WBA dinner in uh, New York tonight before and back after the boxing fight. Modesty forbids, I know, but they also are honoring you, are they not? That's true. They are, yes. WBA is commentator of the year. Which you, we now know that you've been nominated by the Boxing Writers for commentator of the year next year. I'm really flattered by That's that. That's very nice. It's a good company along with Sam Rosen, yes. the man who's graced these... Uh, tables also and we're, we're proud of you and happy for you. Ken Dennis, our producer, and Barry Clem also cast those words along. 
Johnson wailing away with that left hook on the inside, and uh, that has been a good weapon for him so far in this bout, and I think that's maybe one of the differences. Take a look at the punch profile in the first round, and Olsen out slowly, but out effectively. Yeah, he, uh, he picked his punches a little bit better than Long and was accurate with it. That right hand, I think, stunned okay, Dave Long. Watch your Long looks a little frustrated just by the fact he has to punch down at Olsen. He's a tough target to hit. His last bout uh, was a four-round win for, uh, against Eddie Meeks for Dave Long. And, of course, we've talked about Olsen this being his pro debut. Olsen has, been, uh, has not really fought hand, since the Olympics. He's been inactive basically trying to he's trying to set up a deal in canada uh, that would management deal that would work for him it didn't materialize and uh, he's, out of, he's been out of the ring for a long time but you know given that he does not look like he's rusty no he actually looks pretty sharp obviously a little bit of a case of nerves in the first round but settling down nicely right, right your head. Right your head, gentlemen. Right, 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 right. Oh, good. Long's expected to have to box against Olsen. He's, I think he's going to come after him, so I'm going to have to box, which is what he's tried to do. Good double hook by Olsen. And the man who's been teaching him, Richie Sandoval, was a very good ring technician in his days as champion. Richie still looks in pretty good shape. He does indeed, and I, I'm sure Richie, watching those Bantamweights go at it, was thinking back to his days. And here on ESPN, he had some very special fights like this couple of bouts against Harold Petty and uh, he was he was around really in what at least in the modern era was the heyday of that division there were a lot of good bantamweights when Richard was fighting Jeff Chandler when he beat for the title jab by Olsen he's really taking control here now with the jab and the left hook to the body Olsen really starting to control this fight now. Good second round for him. Here's Richie Sandoval, the man we talked about. He's doing very well with those methods to the body. Hey, I'm impressed. Gotta keep working on body. Thank you. Giving his charge a little bit of a compliment. Right, deep in the deep in the way up. Way up, holding it up nice and easy. All right, relax. You're gonna see how these body shots are going. It's doing very well. Don't worry about it. It's doing very well. Very well, there's the right hand, but uh, Richie Sandoval impressed also with the left hooks of, of Olsen and uh, a lot of encouragement from Richie. It's bigger, but th that's what's better, okay? You can slip them punches. The main thing is not to stand in front of them, right? Just keep them Watch that hand. Watch that hand. Succinct and to the point. And that's what you want to do as a corner man. You want to give your man a couple of pieces of advice that he can deal with and repeat it two or three times. The best in boxing, in my opinion, the best in boxing is giving instructions in between rounds is Jesse Reed. Yes, I can agree with it. And it's because he has a rhythm. He will. When you sit down, he gives you 15 seconds, then he tells you the things he wants you to know. He waits 15 seconds, and just a little bit before you're going to go out, he repeats the couple of things that he wants you to remember so that they are in your head. I have a chance to see much of Jesse as we look at your card and shut out being pitched by Olsen so far. Yeah, he is doing a number on Dave Long. Jesse in the corner of Frank Tate yesterday, a, a losing corner. But uh, it would be nice to see him involved in, in more of the box. Yeah, it it was. Was. Jesse actually worked as a commentator. One, yes, he did. One, one You've fight. worked with everybody in America. Almost. There are only three announcers I've not worked with. And we have an APB out to find them. We don't know where they are. <laughs> There's a nice right hand by Olsen. <laughs> of course, you get around yourself uh, during this basketball <laughs> sure, season. Yeah. is really I'm sure they have to like this effort I'm, I'm not surprised what you said was saying you're doing you're doing the right thing because it's been a very good effort by Olsen not wild he's 
He's being aggressive, but his punches are crisp, pretty short. Yeah, it's a good test for him. I mean, long with three fights experience, and all three were victories. Got a couple of knockouts on his record. Yeah, there are definitely worse guys you could fight in your first fight than Dave Juan Davis. A, work, a journeyman who, you know, had not even beaten. You can't call him a journeyman. The right hand that hurt Long a minute ago, and he had another right hand just there. And doing some very good body work as he has from the opening bell. Oh, boy, he is ripping left hooks downstairs. Dave Long feeling those shots. Now in a defensive posture. Yeah, really trying to cover up for those body shots. We have seen so much good body work tonight from our first fight, with especially Diego Avila, Harold Brazier, and now in this one. It's been an excellent round for Olsen. Right hand to the chin has Olsen, or rather has Long hanging on as we come to the end of the third round. Scotty Olson, the little bulldog, and Dave Long. And Long went back to his corner a little bit wobbly after the third round. Dave Long has not had good success with his jabs. Four of 69 landing. We've seen rounds. a lot of that tonight, too. Yeah, and that's part of the reason why Olson's been able to get inside on him and uh, give him so much problem. The body shots have really been the difference in this fight. And on your card, and this is not a surprise at all. I love, no, I've given Olsen all three rounds. You have got to like the way Olsen throws those left hooks to the body. He gets terrific leverage on those punches. And there was a big right hand, and that hurt long. And Olsen now drives him into the ropes, and we'll try to get him out of there. Olsen just out muscling long. You know, you look at this fight, and you just know that Olsen would have won a medal at the Olympics if he hadn't, if he faced somebody else in the quarterfinals. You know he would have gotten through to the championship round. Yeah, he drew a tough card there. At least gotten in a position to win a bronze or something. Oh, what an uppercut. Nice shot by Olsen. Long did win a couple of open uh, state titles in Wisconsin as an amateur. He is a tired hombre right now. And uh, you can see the difference in the caliber. He just is not, didn't have the kind of international experience that Olsen did. We have down to one minute remaining in this fight. What an odyssey for Olsen. He's from Edmonton. He goes to Las Vegas to train and has his first pro fight in Indianapolis, Indiana. He's getting a few frequent flyer miles. Hey, guess who's his manager? I didn't tell you this. You know who's managing him? Bruce the Mouse Strauss. Is that a fact? Yeah. The legendary Bruce the Mouse yes, Strauss. Yes, he always had to start his name with the legendary. Yes, it's, it's almost mandatory. Famous club fighter. I think you've done about six of his retirement fights. He <laughs> keeps retiring. I don't know. Even Sinatra hasn't retired as many times as him. <laughs> Olsen throws those punches that Mike Tyson describes as with bad yeah. intention. See, I give Dave Long credit for not going down in this bout. Yeah, he's taking a serious beating in this fight. There is no doubt about the decision and an impressive first fight for Scotty Olsen, who ends with a flourish. So what's little dandruff? When Caldwell and Fred Jones all scored about the same 40 to 36 for the winner. By unanimous decision, the little bulldog, Scotty Olsen. Well, I'll tell you what, Al, a little bulldog has a pretty big bite. He does indeed. An excellent performance by Scotty Olsen, one that shows you he'll be a good pro.